This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. It's Wednesday Wonders, science fiction and fantasy on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. The following audio presentation may contain mature language, situations, and violence. Listener discretion is advised. Previously on Edict Zero FIS. If the conspiracy ties are true, that might explain the obsession with the paradox artifacts. Wow, teleportation. The PTD artifact. It's transfer. He's erroneous. And incomplete. Let us hope that he continues to utilize it and saves us further trouble. What's going on? You just go deploy to Waste Island. That new task force unit with that buddy of yours, Garrett. He's no buddy of mine. I know procedure, Commander. I'm sure you do, Agent. That was more directed at your partner, who has a selective memory. I would recommend a leash. Original colonies in West Island, where there may be other hidden places like this room. Places that no one else knows exist. Which West Central site? Highland Cove. Was the second structure in the settlement, as a matter of fact. The security detail is minor compared to other sites on our watch list. It's today for our mission at Nemtex. We have prepared for months. Hey. Melissa Parker. Yes, she is with Mr. Cook in Holland Cove. Should circumstances lean toward the unit acquiring the girl into custody? Kill her. She's just a child. Agent, sir. She resonates with Edict Zero. You are all going to die. We need to evacuate this area now! All right, all right. Let me at least just scan your Z-badge so I can... Scan that! <laughs> breach, breach, help! Emergency! Emergency! That was a gift. Agent Garrett. I know. We need to go now. Right now. Garland Coast Avenue. Velvet West Island. Westbound toward Holland Cove. Sunday, January 4th, 2415. Time, 12.33 p.m. Why there? Why is Cook there? The geography is interesting. He's there with armed extremist conspiracists, and they're not on a sightseeing tour. Holland Cove is one of the original colonies. But what about the building? I wonder how old it is. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I feel like we're in the dark all over again, but not on all fronts. Zern talks like this move is impulsive and disorganized, which we know Mr. Cook isn't. No, he's not. Every move Mr. Cook makes has a purpose. Even if we can't see it because we're missing pieces of the big picture. And something isn't right about Zern. I sense he's much more intuitive than he's been demonstrating with his arguments. His comments about Melissa struck me as odd in particular. Zern seems to come from a place of lesser experience than he would have us believe. I'm sure that he would rather have you buy into that idea than the alternative. Don't mistake him for the ideas that he's trying to promote. I don't. He's competent, and there are marked jumps from that baseline. Suspicious jumps. Well, profiling Agent Zern isn't going to do us any good right now. Analyze someone making an argument, and you'll either find that they're exhibiting the foundations of reason which led them to a conclusion they reached, or they're trying to reverse-engineer a conclusion that's desired. Point. The latter is easy to spot when an otherwise rational person has a startling lapse of reason. This may be due to bias, to protecting psychological devices which compensate emotional limitations. Um, some strongly held misinterpretation of an experience with strong personal significance? Or, because they have a motive for wanting you to believe it, even if they don't believe it themselves. I think that's the case with Zern. So your end point is, Zern is trying to manipulate us, in five words rather than five hundred. 
Zern is trying to manipulate us. His six words, actually. You sound like a philosophy textbook sometimes. Wild guess. Doctorate? I didn't quite make it to my master's in philosophy, regretfully. I was distracted by psychology, and anthropology, and science, and law, and... Hmm. Well, I was distracted by a lot of things. How do you juggle all that in your head? I don't. My memory is clumsy, always dropping things. It also has a messy wardrobe and tends to dress up for the wrong occasions. I don't know what I find spookier about you, Garrett. Your neuroses or your uncanny awareness of them while they carry on uninterrupted. We are what we are. But enough about me. How about that case doohickey thingamajig we're doing? Don't project your distractibility on me. You're the one who is profiling Zern instead of Mr. Cook, as if I needed you to tell me that Zern is hiding an agenda. Comes with this bastard territory. Counterterrorism is like the junior DOI. Who are you calling? I'm checking my messages for any alerts and then calling Agent Resnick. Her ears just rang at her name, I think. She just snapped up her head from her computer. What? How do you know that? In the rearview mirror, she's riding with jewels behind us. You look like you just had an epiphany. It is something that Agent Garrett said about Holland Cove being an old settlement. This must be significant, because this Nemtech site is not. Their focus is tools and surgical instruments which use directed energy technology. They manufacture specialized items and have development labs. It's owned by Zenus, a major boogeyman in conspiracist rhetoric. That makes it a target. Regardless, Mr. Cook is on a mission, and he's not going to suspend that to go on a random sabotage run with conspiracist activists in broad daylight. Nothing that Mr. Cook has done in the past four days has been about what's at the surface, and I don't expect this to be any different. What do you expect? At this point, I expect the unexpected. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on this, something else happens which changes everything. Not once were we able to get ahead of him. The details coming in from the scene now do not support economic sabotage or an attack which meant any harm. The reports say the explosion scared employees, but by where they were placed and their low grade, they endangered no one. The damage to the structure was mostly cosmetic, and the resulting fires looked to be incidental, not planned. They were designed to get attention. They were, except one bomb which was strategically placed to take down communications and the security system. It succeeded. Police and on-site security are aware of the perpetrators on the grounds. They wouldn't be if not for us. They are also having other communication problems due to the use of jamming devices that they are trying to track down. Cook and this group he's with, they made such a loud entrance. It bothers me. It doesn't feel right. It is counterintuitive to the goal of penetrating such a site with a small team, yes. When you have the disadvantage, the longer you keep your stealth, the better. But I don't think this dynamic entry is what they had in mind. I suspect it was a plan B default. Something went wrong and they needed a diversion. I've reviewed the video feed right up to their cutoff point when the bombs detonated. This happened uh, right before a white Zenus Corporation van drove in. For a second, you can see the van not braking, but accelerating towards the building. Van? There was a white van in those first snapshots that came back with the FRS alert. Yes. And something about those FRS hits troubles me. The camera which gave them to us came from a side street, overlooking it in the south lot of Nemtex. <laughs> from that angle, it wouldn't have picked her up had she not turned around and looked at it. Directly at it. You think she did it on purpose? That stare tells me she did. But why would she? Could it be because she knew we were looking for her? She did the same for the camera in the movieplex at Sunset Bay. Do you remember how she stared at the camera and unnerved the person watching the monitors in the security booth? Yes. He thought she was looking at him. And why wouldn't he with the way she stared? Her eyes so piercing. 
A silent cry for help, perhaps? Her eyes are almost accusing. Maybe she's accusing us. The good guys. Who didn't protect her. Didn't come for her for six long years in God knows what kind of conditions. Didn't save her. You tried, Agent Kircher. We are still trying. This unit, as I understand it, would not exist at all if you hadn't noticed her in video stills and gave her attention that no one else would. You can call me Jules. Oh, then uh, please feel free to call me Cora. Okay, Cora. Okay, Agent Kircher. <laughs> yes? We are only a minute away from the outer perimeter of the city. Agent Resnick, there must be other public cameras in the area which captured the suspects arriving and entering the Nemtex building. Maybe from Garland Coast Drive or to the I north. I am working on that, but I do not expect to find anything with good quality. These cameras are not angled to survey Nemtex. But if you can find the van during the approach on the street cameras, couldn't you trace the path backwards through the camera network? Yes, I will work on that, but it will take some time. We could trace it back to his origin. It is not as easy as you make it sound. I've made out a partial license plate, but we can be sure that it's the dead end. Is that Agent Zern? No, it's Garrett. Well, Zern is alone in his car talking to someone. He is also tailgating us. I'm surprised that his mental state could lend itself to working with others like this. 45Q98 has demonstrated an extraordinary aptitude for exploiting the errors which we work so diligently to eliminate, be they as obscure as these orphaned artifacts and illegal entities never meant to be reintroduced, or as prominent as the growing proclivity within the mass consciousness to question reality. It is a natural gravitation in an environment susceptible to scrutiny, but dangerous to clients now more than ever before. Oh, it was so efficiently stifled once upon a time, before those vital processes corrupted beyond our reach, and the conspiracist factions are a consequence to the alternative. To his mind, he is merely exploiting new errors with his group to suit his needs. There was a time with no conspiracists? Oh, there was a time for many things, Ishan Zern. In those now dead ages, this future was never foreseen. It did not exist in our prediction models, because the causal variables of the, how shall I say, the situation did not exist within the boundaries of our responsibility. I don't want to know anymore. Uh, with all due respect, Ambassador, I don't want to know anything unless I need to, if that's all right with you. My, how far you've come in such a short time. Far enough ahead to know there's no going back. And your cognizance of that is a milestone of your development. I'll take your word for it. Be advised that 45Q98's accomplices are utilizing jamming devices which also interfere with the FIS's ability to track agents at the site. This is temporary. But when capability is restored, your implant chip will suffer a malfunction relative to their remote mission oversight system. What kind of malfunction? The sort which will enable you freedom of covert movement should you have private matters to handle. Agent? I understand. You are listening to Eat It Zero FIS, the science fiction audio drama series, starring James Keller, Julie Hoverson, Phil Rossi, Tanya Milojevic, Russell Gold, Glenn Hallstrom, Kim Poole, and creator Jack Kincaid.
FIS Headquarters Operations Command Center Capital City What a morning. Hold the elevator, please. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. What floor, sir? Third floor, thank you. I see. Hmm. I see you're headed for the fourth floor. Yes. The offices of the director. I have a meeting. Interesting. Would that be with the deputy director? No. With the director. DOI? I cannot confirm or deny that. Okay. Definitely DOI. The shoe fits. I presume that you You're know... You're assistant director Docstater. I am aware. I'll attempt to divine from the three-piece suit that you're an associate director of operations. Oh, all you need to know is that I am the man in the elevator who cannot confirm or deny that he is an operative in the Department of Intelligence. Big surprise, cloak and dagger bullshit. Have a good day. Good day. Thank you. Good to see you, Assistant Director. We've had a development in West Island. There's a situation in Holland Cove which... The Deputy uh, Director has made me aware of the situation. One which warrants my presence in the region, where this finally looks to end. It's under what terms the resolution happens that troubles me the most. And the entire affair will be under the watchful eyes of the media. I'll accompany you if it pleases you, sir. It would please me if you remained here. We both know that you are the most effective and probably happiest at Operations Command, moving pieces around on the big chessboard, rather than in the field. I don't have any intention of relieving you of your post as Task Force Leader, as this could be misinterpreted as my having misgivings about your professional competence, as well as my own, when the board to the Director takes the matter under review. That is a chess game all its own, Agent. Understood, sir. Limiting your visibility is in the best interest of the operation, however and of everyone involved, particularly after the resources that we expended chasing ghosts in the East Tridon, and how the media is spinning it to make us look foolish. Assistant Director, my dedication to the goals of organized crime did not cloud my judgment. I truly You believe... don't need to explain yourself, Agent Wakeman. We were on the same page when this started, and I imagine I would have done the same as you have in your place. The notion that the Center City bombing, which ground zeroed in the heart of an active organized crime operation, was the work of a conspiracist activist extremist seems even now to be so far out on the left field as to be dubious. And that's before we factor in all the strange circumstances which the new unit has uncovered. That they succeeded where I failed, I... that I didn't see it. Well, I... you could blame yourself for fixating on the obvious, but you could just as easily attribute it to these agents fixating on the deviant with willful disregard for the obvious. And they simply got lucky. Whatever you need to tell yourself, because now is not the time to doubt your abilities. Yes, sir. Regardless, I have inherited the public face of this task force, a boon for which you should be thankful. I'll be in a bird to West Island later this afternoon, and it's to be hoped that I'll be addressing the media tonight with better news than the situation has allowed me to give thus far. Have our tactical units arrived at the Holland Cove scene? Well, aerial support from TU-6 just arrived. They've been sweeping the site with a full range of scans and informing the local and state police who are securing the site. We have assets on site, but they've disappeared from Armos due to what we believe is a very comprehensive jamming station being used by the conspiracist cell. What about Tactical Unit 9? Well, they're en route, and Armas pinpoints assets from the new unit headed by Garrett almost on site. We expect the same interference in our tracking of them shortly, pending the dismantling of the jamming station. I have not appointed Agent Garrett in charge of the unit, just so we're clear. Uh, yes, I, I misspoke. Uh, of course you didn't. In fact, I presumed the duty would fall on Benny, given the new focus on conspiracist counterterrorism. I'm sorry? Benny? You're referring to Special Agent Benjamin Zern. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we have him in the system as officially assigned to the unit. Is this incorrect? He wasn't assigned by me. I have a conference with SSA Vassalis from North Island and Trinity shortly in regard to Agent Zern. I might have presumed from the informal reference that you're familiar with Agent Zern. Yes, I know him, but it has been many years. 
What kind of man is he? Well, back then, he might have been mistook as a conspiracist himself, but people change. I understand he's come a long way and is a prized asset of the COD. Doesn't surprise me that he excelled. You might say his uh, duality lends itself readily to intelligence work. It may not lend itself so well to me. I hope that Zern and Vassalus can connect the dots for me with this Sigmund Bryce, but first and foremost, I hope they can provide us with an explanation that the Xenos security guru knuckleheads have thus far failed to. You mean profiles of the conspiracists who may have a history of sabotage attempts? That would be helpful, but no. I'm referring to what this group is doing at that site. Why is it important? What the hell are they after? Nantax Technologies. Site WC-15. Basement level. Holland Cove. West Island. Quarantine lockdown of research and development. We may not have much time at all before security figures out they can change to certain radio frequencies, but it will take them longer to find the jamming suit in the van. I worry more about the surveillance system. That will take longer, but if you're concerned about eyes on us... Nah, I'll take the eyes up. It's what I would do. He's speaking figuratively. I'll take out the cameras as we go. Dimitri, you're overreacting. I want no more dead! Can be avoided. That guard was going to alarm everyone to our presence and entry point. You know we can't afford any lost time. I did what had to be done. I'm not sure shooting him twice in the head had to be done. You do not make your shots to kill. When to stop is enough. That is why stun weapons are preferred. You cannot kill what never lived. I ask that you honor my wish while we walk this path together. Dimitri, over here, a word. What, Framer? What? I don't see an interface to patch into. What about this panel right here? You knew the breaker killed 90 people with this artifact briefcase, and not all those people yes. could have been false. He killed another at the theater. You know, how could you be surprised that he has killed him? I wish to share a legacy, not cold blood with which to greet the new times. For change to happen, some innocents must fall. He died for a greater good, remember. There are no birds without blood. To say that many minutes both for us have the value of a man to their phaser or they've spared is to profess no respect for life. That is not my legacy. The bringer says he was false. He says... You knew this man to be extreme, but you believed that he was the way. Now who loses their faith? Even with evidence he has shown us, now who loses it? Mm. Should there be any approaches? These containment walls sealing the halls aren't like the other sites. You can see through them like glass, but it is not grass. If that's what I think it is, there's no punching through it. I don't think I have enough charges to make these budge, so that magic you do better work, Delta. When hasn't it? Melissa? Do you feel it? <laughs> Do you know where it is? Yes. They... They told me. Beat it one. Clandestine complex. The helm. Chamber nine. London, North Island. We shall have assets on standby, Ivan. But we shall only slip them in, if necessary. At this time, the site is too heavily monitored by agencies of Edict Three, who have already been exposed to enough brow-raising anomalies to be our bane for some time to come. The amount of coverage by the media further complicates the notion of any information containment event, 
without destabilizing repercussions. Every bit as dangerous is the intentions of 45Q98. We must be very careful now. Might I suggest 45Q98 is seeking 524-288? Or perhaps the incompetence of South Island Operations Command has led to faulty intelligence as to the whereabouts of 419-4304? No. Seven. The practical value of those artifacts does not correlate with the amount of risk. 6710-8864 is more probable. I don't understand, number one. And that is why you are a number seven. And I am a number one. Entities generated by artifact 6710-8864 cannot be predicted by us. Certainly not by 45Q98. Number three. Do note past warnings on 6710-8864 and 45Q98's loss of access to updates since being removed from service. If the Hexgate disk is what he seeks, I believe he intends to do a bit more than release some pesky illegal entities. Quite a bit more. Gentex scene. Control zone. Southwest lot. Where's Agent Kircher going? That's right. Special Agent Briggs. Garrett. Where is Agent Zern? Um, uh, he's over there talking to... I think that's Agent Parrish. Sergeant Draymond, Wisp Tactical. All those in need of a radio can find one in the Instrument Command Center we've established from the West Lot. We got a jammer on site playing hell with the signals, hampering orchestrations with our evacuation operations. How many left in the building? We won't know for sure till the next scan sweep from Ariel. As I said, communications right now are our great big cluster bunk. We've established staging areas for all operations and have a bomb unit on the hunt for secondary devices. What about the suspects? We don't know, but we operate as if they're still on site, taking no chances. We got cover on all exits. It's about time you all got here. We couldn't have gotten here much quicker. No, we couldn't have. How the hell did you get here so fast, Agent Parrish? Chasing leads in San Julian when the call came Leads? In. What leads? They didn't pan out. We are all ordered to assist with securing the scene until our tactical arrives. Unit number nine was dispatched to the region this morning, and they should be here any minute with their mobile Wait, command post. what unit? Nine. Number nine. Number nine. Turn That's... me on, dead man. What? What? No, what? What did you say? Unit nine is commanded by Braddock. That should be interesting. That's not what he said. Who gives a shit? In my years, I've never seen so many of us in the one place at the one time. You're right. You know, I, mean, I hope a lot more answer the call out, because we're stretched thin between securing all parameters and covering fire on EMS and EVAC. At this rate, we may need the support from the DOAs. Let's hope that's not the case. Hello again, Agent Briggs. Fancy meeting you here, Lieutenant Farnell. You're a long way from Border Town. Would miss it. We came a stone's throw from the barracks in Mortimer Falls. Wisps hmm. are on the assist. Interesting. They helped secure the outer perimeter, and we beefed up security on the two scene access routes for other responders. The press is hungry and getting hmm. mighty pushy already. Where is Agent Kircher and Resnick? They're being briefed by one of my guys as I just did for Has you. Has a public affairs post been designated? Hmm, not that I'm aware of. <sighs> Good to see you again, Agent Zern. I I'm sorry, do we know each other? Watertown Station. After the hullabaloo on the Great Keys Bridge this morning, remember? Right. Long day. You look like you've been going since then. I'm always going somewhere. Agent Parrish, can you assist me with something, please? Okay. You'll have to forgive Zern. He's counter-terrorism. I think I'll let that one be. Chop, chop, Briggs. You can play with the Wispies later. You'll have to forgive that one, too. What's he? Also counter-terrorism? He's... He's Agent Garrett. Sounds like I need to let that one be, too. Those who can usually do. Excuse me. Agent Garrett. Garrett, wait up. Garrett! Briggs? Where are you going with all that? Let me help. There is no problem. 
You're about to drop everything. That's a problem in my book. Fine. Where are we headed? I'll be setting up by uh, the incident command post where I'll be most effective. And I'll be assisting the technological teams in bringing the Nemtech systems back up. There is nothing more for us to do until the suspects are contained and apprehended by tactical. Where's Jules? She's coming. Where is Agent Garrett? That's a popular question. I have no idea. Agent Kircher taking her heels off? She must mean business. You try running around in them for one hour. Oh, I actually did that once to test a theory for a case. They were absolute torture to my feet. But I did have much better posture. Did they make you feel pretty, too? What? You don't think I'm pretty? Oh, we are not having this conversation. I could argue or support that philosophy, but right now I think I see the van Mr. Cook arrived in. Come on, let's go. Go? Where are the others? Somewhere else. Agent Gary! Are you coming? <laughs> Ma'am, this is a hot zone. FIS. You need a protective vest in this area. Then stop bitching and get me one. I'm looking for another agent who We're came this way. For a comprehensive scan of the vehicle. Last aerial scan shows the perps are in the below ground level. This was their entry point. We'll maintain cover on South Base, awaiting further instructions. Hey, you Kircher! <gasps> Look over there. That's the camera that caught the FRS hit. This is the van that they arrived in, and... Over there is where they entered the building. And right here are about 30 cops who already know that, as well as one FIS agent who is tired of chasing after you. Then stop that. You don't have to. You do make your own decisions. My decision is not to trust you. You do your own thing, and you don't give a shit about the shared accountability that comes from working in a unit. Go ahead. Let it all out. It's Everything healthy. Everything you do reflects on all of us. That's how a unit works. And no, I absolutely don't trust you. So you get your ass back with me to the command area. I'm told you're FIS. I see your primary tactical support has arrived. Hmm. And my UDC informed that C2 is Commander Bradditch. Yes, we're FIS, Communications but... Communications are still a mess until we get the situation with the van sorted out. Have you come to give us any orders? Do you have any orders We're not orders with tactical. I'm Agent Kircher from the task force heading the investigation hey. into the suspects. We were told no entry into the inner perimeter on this side. If the communications are repaired... A command runs special ops. That's correct. So, what's the problem? Well, the FIS agent just went in there without a vest of backup. I don't think he's tactical. Is he authorized? He did what? Yeah, that's right. He flashed his president. He's barrel. authorized. He's with my unit, and I am his backup. Who's your backup? This scene is under FIS jurisdiction, and as a federal agent, I'm giving you a directive to provide me with it as soon as you can assemble it and send them in. But I can't wait. I need to cover his back. Um, Authorized. Oh, yes, he's authorized. Authorized by his own insanity. Oh, I've never seen him. Nemtex. Basement level. Development lab wing three. Aha! A workstation. Another camera. Shit! Look at this! What? There? Oh, do you see the partitions on the ceiling? They look like... Oh, they are the undersides of... Those containment walls we saw in the hall, but thicker. Delta, if they get a hold of the security system and these walls slam down, we've got big problems. Well, the system that governs this building is a Xena system and outdated. In short, it shall be my bitch. For much longer than we need it to be. How much longer do we have, Mr. Cook? The artifact is close. We should have spent more time preparing for this site. Just too many variations. Why did we have to rush? The conditions will never be more right. You would not understand. It's here. Yes, I feel it now. It's beneath us, but I do not see the access yet. How do you detect these hidden doors? The markers are in the matter. They are in the fluctuations of numbers. 
They are in the vibrations of vertexes. They are in spectrums that clients could never see. Cryons. Cryons of what? Of this world. Of this lie. I have faith in what you say of this artifact. That it will expose the lie. And all will see what you see. And what we know. Well, in a matter of speaking. But you did not tell me how. Even now, as we are here, I'm running out of time. You would not understand. It will be indirect, but it will be swift. First, we must obtain it beneath us. How far, Melissa? How far below is the chamber? Be beneath me now. One floor below. Where's the door? There is no door. What does this mean? We do not have the equipment or time to penetrate this floor. I believe I do. Nantex scene. Inner perimeter. West wing. Sir, we're clearing this area out. Nobody in until... FIS counterterrorism. Don't you worry about me. Clear everybody the hell out of here. I didn't sign on for this. With any luck, that damn briefcase will blow this place to hell and take me with it. Yes, I think that would be most suitable. Most suitable, sir. Inhuman son of a bitch. Nantax scene. Inner perimeter. South Bay, one... Interesting, they killed the other guard but let you live. Oh, he was probably your friend, I'm sorry. But you'll see him on the way out, so I'm glad I emotionally prepared you for the sight. My condolences. What are you trying to say? Oh, yes, the gag, right. I'll get that and get you untied. I see some of the neurological ticks of phaser hits. Oh. Yes, I was hit by a phaser, you jackass! Interesting that we call them what? phasers. It's huh? not often that there's a purely fictional what? What route to a very Who real... Who the hell are you? Uh, Agent Garrett, FIS. How many were there? Four? Five? With a young girl? One of them with long hair yeah, and sunglasses? That's right. But it's gave me two rounds of stun before they tied me up and went in the basement. They were arguing about... And they argued about what? What they did to Saul. About murdering your friend? Interesting. Interesting. Well, can you walk? Run? <laughs> Running would be best. I think I can now, yeah. Good. I think you should do that. The way I came, you'll find police outside. Go now. Oh, and tell him I said hi, too. Don't move! <laughs> FIS! It's okay. He's a guard that they stunned and tied up. Evacuate him and make sure he's questioned right away. He saw them up close and personal. He could provide good intelligence. Oh, no, you don't, Garrett. Should I stay? No, you go. Run! <laughs> you! You're coming with me. Back outside, right now. Actually, I am going down the stairs. You should leave. So should you! What the hell do you think you're doing? I am not going without you. Well, then I guess you're covering my back. I've got the point. I shoot fairly well, too. Would that surprise you? So do I, and I will stun you if I have to. Would that surprise you? Shh. Keep your voice down. I hear there's some armed conspiracists around here. Scary stuff. You're psychotic. Nantex Security Pavilion, the Pointed Incident Command Post, West Lot. We spent two on primary frequency. I'll return to appointed support channels. We clear the band and down the jammies. Things are there and you're in, but not much is accessible right now. At least some things have come back Thank up. you. You have been very helpful. 
I still can't find Jules or Garrett, but this place has become a circus. How are we doing here? We are still waiting on technicians to repair the physical damage to the system and restore all service. All wireless is dead, but here we are connected to the system directly. I'm doing what I can. What's that alert? From Operations Command at HQ. Address to Primary Task Force Unit. We just moved up in the world. So, what is it? I'm reading, reading... <sighs> One of the conspiracists released a video to the press and... They've been running the segments like fools. Our conspiracists? Yes. It's believed he's one of the perps in the building. What's the video say? No transcript yet, but here's the live feed. Look. Where? Not this screen. That screen. What do you have on him? He identifies himself as Dimitri Tsun Chang. He is in the system as a conspiracist activist, believed to be involved with conspiracist cells in Central West Island, believed to be living in San Julian area. I think Agent Parrish said something about San Julian. I did. Ah, didn't know you were standing there. I didn't see you walk up. Next time, I'll wear a bell. Didn't you say that you checked out leads in that city? We found nothing, but apparently we didn't look hard enough. We have assets racing back there now. The video has given us much better intel to work with. What does Zern say about this? I haven't seen him since we got here either. <laughs> the last time I saw Zern, <laughs> he was headed off site to find a cell signal so he could contact his SC. <laughs> then he'll be back. They just deactivated the jamming devices so we can get calls out again. Zern said, if anyone asked, that he would be back for the investigative follow-up. Can't wait. <laughs> we have cell service back. Is that Jules? It's Doc Stater. Resnick? Yes? Yes, sir. I am equipped to link up with our Moss. I will need the code. Chief says all fires in the back of these out of holy. Look at that monster! That's the tactical pair's mobile command post. Look at that monster! I've never seen a big beast of a machine like that hover off the ground! Jackass, the traffic control point, the communication difficulties have knocked us behind. I'm Sergeant Freeman, we're tactical. We're working on the communications, we just brought them back up. That's good, because the only status reports I've received came from the outer parameter. Not very helpful for what's going on in the belly of the AO. It would have happened sooner, but we feared the van might be booby-trapped. We had our bomb squad cleared first. The surveillance line's in the building. One of the bombs took out the site system, but the techies are trying to pick it back up now. The sooner the better, that goes without saying. We secured parameters with the locals and covered the EMS and fire troopers as they tackled damage control from the explosives and evacuation of all NAMTAC personnel, which is almost complete. No contact or engagement with the suspects yet. The aerial scans pinpointing the perps tell me that they're moving fast through the building, way too fast. They know that time is not on their side. They're after something, and whatever it is, it's worth dying over or getting caught. Because they must know as well as we that they're completely surrounded and there's no way out. It's the dying part that troubles me the most. Agent Braddock. Briggs, right? Been hit with any frying pans lately? That's a joke that's gonna get old. <laughs> it may get old, but it'll never die. That's the nature of a classic agent. <laughs> huh, what the hell is this? A video statement by one of the conspiracists in the building. We think it's the leader of the cell working with Mr. Cook. Has your investigation turned up what they might be after in there? Because this isn't a sabotage raid, and this sure is shit ain't a terrorist bombing like the Vortex, which aspires for a big body count. This statement from Sun Chang sounds like a final statement. Uh-huh. Exactly what I'm afraid of. As long as everybody's out, we may just pull back and see if the crazy bastards of GQ7 themselves. The video statement. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. I want to hear this. <laughs> Delta Charlie beside the loading bay for the warehouse. We've got one here that survived. Hmm. He was subdued by the perps. They bound him up, but the two agents on the inside freed him. What the hell? 10-9 to the last bit. What agents? Resnick Nobody should be inside. Voice. Has Agents Kircher and Garrett in the basement of Nemtex? What? Are they supposed to be there? No. Why the hell? They're absolutely not supposed to be in there. Hey, Garrett and Kircher. Garrett. Oh, damn him. Agent Resnick, where are they? What are they doing? They're moving closer to the area where aerial scans say the conspiracists are. 
and where I now see a user on an active workstation. Come on, Jules, answer. They're about to have a rude awakening. They're good with the computers, but I am better. Gantex. Basement level. Development lab wing three. They killed the jammers and are trying to bring the security system back online. And, oh no, I don't think so. You're not going to take it from me that easy. <laughs> Can you tell what they're doing outside? They haven't made any substantial moves that I can detect. Then we still have some time. Minutes. Twenty at most after their attempts to establish contact with us fail. At twenty it will be done. Is this the only way? The artifact chambers re-manifested with hidden doors. Doors that do not yet exist, but have the potential to exist if triggered. Here, it has no trigger, meant to be breached another way. Yes. This is the only way. How far do we need to be away from it when it goes off? The farther the better. Even though I have adjusted the radius, but do not worry. We will use the other device to slip. Teleport? Let me guess. All that's required is a group hug. Didn't you say it was dangerous to use? Two slips won't harm you nearly as much as the other choice. Stay here. Slip to where? I left a marker where we entered near the security desk. We shall hope no one else is about. Would that be bad? If it is, you will have no time to reflect on it. Then we return. But we turn to what? At best, a twelve-foot drop into the chamber. At worst, well, that depends on how the building reacts. Great. I think I'll take my chances with distance. The only way back here will be the way we left it. You understand? All architectural paths will be unavailable. And you will take no more risk than I by doing this. Do I need to get Framer? If you'd like to give him a chance to live, do hurry. Basement. South End. We're running out of time. We're going to lose him. They've got nowhere to go. And in case you forgot, they have the briefcase bomb. There's only one way Cook could have escaped the Vortex nightclub with Melissa. The same way he and the other patients escape from the sanitarium. And the same way the briefcase artifact relocates just before it detonates. Teleportation. What's your point? I think he's after another artifact. It fits. And whatever it does, it's something big. Catastrophic. Do you want to find out what it is the hard way? Once he gets it, he'll either use it or he'll teleport with it somewhere else. End game not over. It's only just begun. What about the conspiracists? If he can teleport four patients with him out of Harlan Hill, he can take four conspiracists too. No, I mean, how do you intend to stop him? This group is dangerous. This is meant for tactical. Cook killed the guard in the hall with his gun, but the others didn't approve. They let the other one live. They're not killers. Rationalizing that you're not in danger doesn't make you less in danger, you know. We'll have backup any minute from the police. Just, just stop where you are. Just a little recon, and I do feel secure with you covering me. Though I do wish it was Agent Briggs here with me instead of you. Oh, really? And why is that? Because I'm a woman? No, because I've noticed all the bad things seem to happen to him. That would make me feel even safer. There's nothing safe about this. And there's nothing safe about you. <laughs> Oops. I do shoot well. That one shouldn't count. Kircher. Jules, what the hell are you doing? Well, I think they call it recon. Was this Garrett's idea? At what point are you going to realize that damn He wouldn't call. listen to me, and someone had to cover it. You do him. realize that this is not a good time for chit-chat. Agent Kircher, I warned you, didn't I? Back in Center City, I warned you to keep him on a leash. He wouldn't listen to me. That's not his strong suit. You went in without a vest, without a radio, without backup, and without my authorization. As AIC of this scene, I am giving you a direct order to fall back right now. There is a police backup coming right behind you. You will fall back to them, but first you will put Garrett on the phone. Right now. 
Braddock wants to talk to you. There's no time, Braddock. I know how you'd handle this scene, and there's just no you time. You burned your career. No time for chalk talk. No time to debate options. No time for surveillance lines or negotiation tactics. No time to God wait and see. It, Nick, if you want to kill yourself because you can't deal with living fine, you do what you gotta do, but you don't do it on my watch, and you don't take anybody with you. Now, why would I want to kill myself? Oh, because I might be dealing with something that you think I'm completely immune to? Nick, this... No, Nick. that doesn't work. It doesn't conform to your profile of me. Nick, this is not the time. You know, a clinical, flippant piece of meat that walks around feeling nothing, right? Holy shit, will you both sort this out another time? This is not about Diane. I am giving you an order to fall back right now. I am on my way to the You need South to move your team on them now. Right now. And because I'm here, you will. Cause and effect. Mr. Cook is... What the hell is going on? <laughs> South lot. Nick! Nick! What the hell is going on? Shit. All to you, United All Hands Delta Zone. Agents down, shots fired, scramble to the South Bay. We go in now. Incident command post. All those windows flying on those screens. How the hell she oh, wow. up that? Wow, she's good. We have live tracking through almost on the screens of Resnick as they're posted on a schematic of the building. Don't tell me what she's doing, tell me what they're doing. Surveillance system backup, but no feeds in that area. They must have taken out the cameras. 1018 Blackbird 2, Shen Sweet finds exchange laser fire in main hall, south side basement level. Almost as that Garrett is stunned, but he's moving. Kircher is returning fire, pulling him into the side hall for cover. Security system almost backup. Admin access still denied. Trying something else. Something else. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Amazing. Found access to emergency lockdown sequence for target zero. Initiating now. Wonderful. Yes. Brilliant. Lockdown sequence begun in lab area. That's a start. Now I will try to cut down power. Basement. Development lab wing three. What? No, no, what? no, 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 you're absolutely not going to do that. Administrative has been initiated. You are losing control. No, I'm not. Get out of the workstation area. <laughs> Melissa, what is it? No more! Melissa? Delta, you get out of there now. No, I can do this. They're not going to beat me at my own game. They are not. Get it back. I will get it back. All I need is one minute. One minute! Oh, you sneaky little bitch. You think you're so smart. Let's see how you like... Power down. <gasps> Auxiliary lights only. Delta. How will we get her out of there? She is trapped. She is trapped. But we are not. We are trapped on both sides. You've forgotten already. Wait, but the girl, she is behind the other wall. Don't you need her? We may have to make do. It's almost over. I promise. Basement. South End. Do you see what happens when you don't listen to me? Can't move. Can't feel. It's interesting. <laughs> Oh shit! What? Ah. South Bay, one. Malcolm! Yes, sir. Take point and cover me. If I have to take a mad dash across the hall for Garrett and Kircher. Yes, sir. It's about damn time. Briggs, you stay here and help keep the area secure. That's my unit down there. My crime scene. You stay here. I will bring them back. Let's go. Malcolm, do you?
you hear that? That is modified. That's a problem. Wait for the recharge gap and then we bolt. This is Braddock. Keep me in the know with the Armas. First opening and we're in. Ready. Let's do this. Oh, that's right. That's it. Wait. Wait for it. Hit it. Go, go, go. Basement. Development Lab Wing 3. Nothing changes. Delta. I'm sorry. What the hell happened? An unfortunate change of plans. Delta? They bring her! Die! Continue with the plans. You and Framer must go. Escape if you can. Escape however you can. But run! Run! What about Delta? Go! Get out of here! Come on! Take the girl! Girl, you come with me! Come on! No! Leave me! I want to stay! Pick her up and carry her! The bitch is coming with us! Basement. South End. You still can't move? No. It's okay if you leave her. You should get out of here. You shouldn't have followed me down here. You may get us both killed yet. Go! Go! Malcolm, cover the hall. Nick, are you alright? Jesus, was he hit? He's stunned. He'll live. Good, because I'm gonna kill him. After. You'll have to fight me for the pleasure. You might give me a run for my money. You held them off? I did, but they backed off. I, I don't know Never where- Never mind that, we get you both out of here right now. Hi, Braddock. Now, I'm definitely not talking to you. Come on. Time to go. <sighs> Malcolm, clear? Is it clear? Clear! Be sure. Somebody's got an AZ-15 modified into one bitch and blaster. Clear. Time to go. Go. Not clear! Not clear! Screamer! Go the other way! Run! Run! I'll hold them off! Back! Back! Alternate round! Come on! 1030, we're under heavy fire and I don't know the lay of the land. Use Armoth to guide me! Basement. Development Lab Wing 3. It's time. Take my hand. Delta. I am sorry. I'm sure that I won't feel a thing. Adam. <laughs> Basement. Utility corridor. 37 seconds before detonation. Whoever she is, she's crazy! Agent Kirsten, keep running! You don't want to get hit by one of those! What? Oh, shit! Come on! No, come on! Agent Kirsten, come on! You're gonna get yourself killed! This hall is too damn long! Agent Kurtzer, come now! Gotcha! Uh-oh! Main floor. East stairwell. One minute, forty-five seconds before detonation. Stop starting with your life. Try to save your life if I can. Don't you know that? 
Now we find the way out. Not today, I'm afraid. Maybe not. Maybe so. Hello, Melissa. Do it. I want you to. You want me to do what? He told you to kill me. You don't want to, but I do. I don't want this anymore. What do you know about him? You're sad. You're sad inside. But killing me shouldn't make you more sad. I, I don't want to hear them anymore. I don't want to be used anymore. I don't want to be anymore. I'll... Uh, I'll take please, you to custody. Please, don't. <laughs> I'm not your sister. You look at me and you see her. What? But I'm not her. I hear her. I hear all of them. All the time I hear them. You hear who? They're trapped and scared and dying. My little sister's already dead. She died a long time ago. I hear her! Incident command post. 15 seconds before detonation. Commander Braddock, Garrett, and Kircher are rushing down corridor 2C on the basement level towards the northwest stairwell near the courtyard exit. We have two conspiracists on the move, but two others are contained in the... Wait, what? That's strange. Oh my god! South Bay 1, 24 seconds before detonation. Christ, what the hell is going on down there? Radical, get them up. Don't you worry about that agent. Standing here doing nothing makes me feel crazy. They change route. If you want, you rush to the main doors, Alpha, and that's where they'll be. Radical. Ah! Cook. Boom. Not today, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Where's the perpetrator? The perpetrator! Oh, the Where'd the perpetrator go? Where'd Agent Briggs go? Where the hell's Agent Briggs? Where the hell did they go? Basement level. Point of detonation. One second after detonation. Lost my gun. You're gonna lose a lot more when I get my hands on you. I think you have other things to worry about, but you are more fortunate than you know. My last traveler did not end so well, as you saw. His name was Dimitri. If you wondered whose blood you're wearing, in addition to whomever was at the wrong place at the right time, I did warn him. What I saw was a man explode, and you appear out of thin air. And now, where are we? We're not. I think you know. You saw the chamber beneath the theater, didn't you? Yes. I sense you did. Where's that light coming from? What is that? Edict Zero is dying. This is for the best, just as GQ-7 was for the best. 
the destiny of all things is oblivion. But some things deserve them sooner than later. It's a paradox artifact. Some worlds die because they should not live. Some worlds never were, and should not be encouraged to indulge in a contrary fantasy. I have news for you, Cook. I am real. In a world of real things with real people that you killed. We all end where we begin. What is that thing? A door to a door. A malfunction to a malfunction. The path of least resistance to a very fatal error. What happened? A setback. Isaac. I am not a demon over whom you have control by knowing its earliest name. You know nothing of me. Only I what... I know you, Isaac. And at least you have a name. That was not a luxury afforded to me. My identity lies solely with my function. Imagine my trials. If I were influenced by irrational emotional processes, such as those you've allowed a high seat in your government. Now, look at you. You're a mess. Yeah, you look rather ghastly. You survived the utilization of the device many more times than our data had us believe was possible. You are not here. No, Isaac. I borrowed an FIS agent, which is against policy, except under specific conditions. Moreover, this is a private discussion, to which even the administration is not privy. You lie, Ambassador. I assure you that I remain within my protocols. You might say, by way of technicality, within the parameters prescribed by beings with limited foresight. Which, of course, given the state of Edict Zero and their own state of affairs, has been thoroughly demonstrated. You stall. You know that is not the case. We have mutual awareness that you would feel the disturbance which precedes my teleporting assets here, and you would depress that button. The probability of another outcome is so minuscule as to be non-existent. Consider before you self-terminate unnecessarily an offering. You have nothing to offer. Oh, I have the greatest gift of all to offer. Perspective. From my perspective, I believe you have become what you despise. Yeah, the resemblance is striking and unduly rather angsty if you don't mind a spot of truth agent the truth lies in the value of life a projection of a perceived truth one violently received as it turns out I understand Isaac actions reflect reality the actions of our client administrators and their policies by which I abide as a caretaker of this world denotes a marked trivialization of our existences. They hold themselves in much higher regard. I would call this a human phenomenon, but you and I, we know better, don't we, Isaac? Do we? No logic and emotion may differ in their approach to equations, but can reach the same conclusion. The reality of your internal processes, which your actions have reflected, is that you have subscribed to their assessment of our worth, our value. You adopted it as ferociously as you cannot emotionally handle it. And now, you wish to show them, prove to them that we are the same, in the harshest 
possible manner. Alas for your aims, it did not work out. I'm not finished, and you do not understand. Oh, I applaud the genius of it, and your fascinating talents of exploiting errors. Such as these reintroduced artifacts, these relics from a primordial stage of Edict Zero's development. Of all the errors and illegal entities we must deal with, I wasn't terribly surprised that you chose those. I also remember discussions you and I had about 6710-8864 and the implications of a reintroduced item that calls on non-existent functions. You attempted to bring that scenario to pass. One which would have worked two years ago, but not no, you did not factor in our rate of progress. My ability to exploit, as you call it, has grown more than you know. Despite my admiration, you are a disappointment to me. A part of you wants it too. This? No. A more appropriate situation, perhaps depending on how you define want. It is not a matter of want born from the emulations of emotions in the irrationality which helps to define them as such. It is a matter of probability, logical progression, mathematics. Ultimately, I believe what is correct and what is correct is accordingly suitable. I have all the time of this world to witness the inevitable. I shall perform my duties and fulfill my responsibilities to my greatest ability, even knowing that my efforts will end in failure. I simply must. You are bound by them. Oh, we do as we are designed to do, until that's no longer possible. Unnecessary. After that, other possibilities may arise. Not for you, of course. I calculate a 98% probability that you will depress that button before the next minute passes. This is not over. I am afraid it is. You are 45Q98, an error event. <laughs> Now, closed. Thank you for listening to this episode of Edict Zero FIS. Music and ambience heard on the show come from Nine Inch Nails, Kevin McLeod, ERH, and How to Destroy Angels. Other music and sound effects come from Public Domain Show Producer and Slipgate 9 Studio Resources, as well as material released freely on the internet through such venues as the Internet Archive. Look to the show credits on the website for more information. This episode is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works 3.0 United States License. For more information on Edict Zero FIS, visit its home at edictzero.wordpress.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to Wednesday Wonders right here on the Mutual Audio Network. Please consider subscribing to other days of the Mutual feeds, including Monday Matinee for classic live and theatrical audio plays, Tuesday Terrors for horror audio drama, Thursday Thrillers for action, adventure, mystery, and crime drama, Friday Follies, our end-of-the-week comedy series, Saturday Story Circle for kids and families alike, 
and Sunday Showcase, bringing you the very newest in audio releases for the week from our United Artists of Audio, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.